Hi, welcome to Deidre Goddess. This is my weekly update. Um, first and foremost, this morning I woke up, I was 196 pounds, 196.6 pounds. So that is great. Let me do a quick body shot real quick. Okay. My stomach is getting better, much better. Still got my drums, but it is getting smaller. <coughs> getting better, getting better. All of that great stuff. Okay, so first thing I would like to say again is mm -hmm, thank you Brenda Lee Turner on Lean Secrets. Um, she had a video of her top 10 books. So I went out and I, uh -uh, and I purchased, or not purchased, I rented from my library, How to Eat, Move, and Be Healthy. This is a great book. It's by Paul Chet. It talks about different types of exercises for wherever you're at in your fitness goals. It also talks about metabolic typing for what type of diet you should be on. And I've always thought, but I confirmed, that I am a protein person. Um, when I eat carbs, it instantly makes me gain weight. Um, when I eat a lot of fat and proteins, it seems to help out a whole lot with my weight loss. Um, I've also cut out most dairy. I don't even really eat butter that much anymore, but I've definitely cut out the gluten. Um, that pimple is gone, and we're going to keep it that way, so I'm not going to eat any more gluten. I'm going to have to veer away. And I also learned something very important, that gluten-free foods are higher in carbs than wheat because they're made with rice flour and potato starch, which is actually higher on the glycemic index than wheat. So, that big bag of gluten-free bacon mix that I have downstairs is definitely going to be used for special treats only. I haven't even eaten any pancakes. And I don't know if you guys have watched any of my other videos, but I am a pancake junkie. Um, also, really quickly, let me go over my measurements. <coughs> Forgive me for looking down. Okay, so, the last time I did my measurements was on May the 12th. I did them again on May the 19th. In my arms, I lost a half an inch in both arms. Underneath my underarms, I measure, I have lost an inch and a quarter. Under my breast, I've lost a half an inch. Around my belly button, I have lost two inches. My buttock stayed the same, and I lost a half an inch in my thighs, which is Oh, off the chain. I have been squatting my butt off. I've been doing lots and lots of lunges. Um, what else have I been doing? I've, I've been going, going back to the gym, too, to get on the treadmill. I've been doing a lot of slow, about 2.5 miles per hour, straight uphill, as high as it can go. Um, I've been working out at the gym, again, doing lifting heavier weights. I have been working out at home. I have been working out at home, which is cool, but sometimes I just feel like I'm not really pushing myself enough because all I have are my tubes, which are great. I love my tubes. The tubes are the bomb. But all I have is five-pound weights, and I have a five-pound kettlebell that I use. Um, it doesn't, it didn't, I mean, at first it was okay, but it just seemed like I wasn't really pushing myself as much as I was, as I could. So I have started back at the gym, and I've noticed a tremendous difference. Just my whole physique, the, my whole body just looks stronger and healthier, and it's just, it, it's, it's cool, I guess. If I could get these thighs down, I don't even know what an average thigh is supposed to look like, because mine are disgusting. Even when they do get smaller, I'm not sure what they're going to look like, because I, I carry most of my weight in my thighs. So it looks really, really bad, really, really bad. Um, I've been keeping with my eating healthy, drinking my smoothies with my mystery mix. I've got this mix. It's like all kind of stuff. Spirulina, MSM, um, I've got protein, 
I'm got wheatgrass. It's, it's just it's amino acids. It's a, it, throughout the months I've acquired packages of stuff, and I realize it's hard to put one of these, one of these, one of these. So I just mix it all together. Every time I buy some, I just keep adding and adding it. So really, there's no telling what is in there, but I know that it's full of good stuff: uh, flax seed, chia seeds, acai berries, maca powder. Uh, what else? All kind of stuff. Ginger root, all kind of stuff. And I just mix a scoop of that in with my smoothies. And, oh, and I have another some. I know this sounds, I've watched the Freely, what's her name? Freely? Freely, the banana girl. And she was juicing sweet potatoes, which I'd never thought of. So what I did was I made a sweet potato, um, banana, peanut butter. Oh peanut butter smoothie and it is excellent as my niece says it's Christmassy it's definitely a Christmassy snack it tastes excellent um oh I also got uh, let me grab it really quickly again thanks to Brenda Lee Turner I got the princess the success principles that's I haven't started reading this he's the guy who wrote um chicken soup for the soul and I also got the me metabolic typing diet this is going to be I'm almost finished with this I've read this book in almost two days it's so interesting and it talks about the extra oh and another thing stretching excuse me I stretch but I just do the typical oh quads and this and that you know just the the basic stretches that we all probably do but this book taught me a lot of extra stresses stretches that have helped with the tension in my neck and shoulders Oh, I had a headache for almost a week straight, and I couldn't get the tension out of my shoulders. I think from doing so much of the tubing and stuff, but it works great. And <clears throat> I got my stability ball. Oh, I think on my last video I said I was going to pull that out. Oh, I pulled it out. This book had me pull it right on out. Actually, I love doing it. It's so cool because you can get a lot more flexibility with your exercise. You can move a lot more than just sitting on the floor or on a bench. Um... What else? Um, I think that's about it. I'm still doing my positive thinking, my affirmations. I have journals full of, I just grab them and write stuff. I got my red one. I've got my black one. I've got my day calendar where I keep track of my food and my dieting, although I haven't been doing so good on that lately. I was doing great for the past couple months, but I have been kind of skipping out on that a little bit. Um, I did have a cheat meal. I went and ate Jamaican food. It was spectacular. You can go on my Facebook page at Deidre Raylene, and that's D-I-E-D-R-E, -E, Raylene, R-E-L-E-N-E, -E, and check out the food that I eat. I make a lot of my posts on there. Also on Instagram, you can follow me at Deidre underscore goddess, and that's D-I-E-D-R-E -E underscore goddess, G-O-D-D-E-S-S, -S, at Instagram. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep um, a lot of my food pictures on there and keep track of my weight and whatnot. If I don't, I'm more, I post there more frequently than I do here. I only come on here like a once a week and a half because I really don't have a lot to say unless something's changed. Um, my pistachios, my go-to snacks, excellent. Usually I get salted, but these right here are roasted with no salt, and they're okay. Um, they don't have that fried chicken taste like the salted ones do, but they're okay. And sometimes I just kind of mix them together, but I have those on hand all the time. They're, pop a couple of those in, and because you eat them one at a time, you can only eat so many. You pop the shell and eat them, and after a handful of them, sometimes two, I am super full. Um, and I think that's about it. I'm going to keep this video under 10 minutes. Um, uh, peace out. Love you guys. Never give up. And again, you can follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. And so hit the subscribe button underneath there somewhere and like the video. And I'll see you guys on the next update. Have a good one.